Jack Jarrett. And a first pitch breaking ball. Sail to shallow center. Three balls chasing after it. Franco in the outfield grass makes this catch without a problem. And the inning comes to so. Well, you want to prove yourself and get right back up there as soon as possible. And what you do see a lot of times is these major leaguers that come down challenging hitters right away. And I think we're seeing that from him early. And it's a formidable challenge facing this lineup. Oh, yeah. And you can make a statement that, hey, I deserve to be back and I beat a good lineup. That's a pretty good notch on your resume for a start out. Strike of the knees of Franco. Now a high fastball. He gets around and whips out to center field. Jarrett going back and will make the catch. Moving toward the right center field warning track. Good pitch by Kramer, but there you see the quick hands, the elite hands of Wander Franco. That left hand calls time. Had a good rip at Kramer in the first inning. Lined out to right center. Kramer out of the stretch with Lucas at third, Sullivan at second, Bruhan at first. Tides lead by four. Here's the pitch. Stays away with a change. And time called as Cumberland senses a really tricky moment. And now out comes the pitching coach, Kenny Steenstro, who replaced Mike Griffin, the longtime pitching coach for the Tides here in 2021. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. I guess change is inevitable, but I've known Mike Griffin for a long time, and there is no coach on earth that has the distinction of throwing me more BP than Mike Griffin. I'm sure he thinks about that every night. But Kenny Steenstra, formerly of Wichita State, if I believe. Memory serves. And now in the Orioles organization takes over. We wish Griff well and hope he's enjoying his retirement. Yeah, and while we are talking about former members of the Norfolk Tide staff, since this is the first game the Bulls have played against Norfolk this year, condolences still to the Norfolk Tides family and Ron Johnson's family, the longtime AAA International League manager and longtime colorful and generous manager of the Norfolk Tides who passed away last summer. 1-0 pitch, swing and a tapper foul rolling to the on-deck circle of the Bulls. That's such a good pitch because Wander Franco was trying to ambush the fastball that always comes after a mound visit. Majority of the time, the pitcher's thinking about getting ahead and they're going to throw a fastball and groove it. And hitters take advantage. Franco was guessing and got the changeup. Tides four, Bulls nothing. Bottom three. Franco, the number one consensus player in the minors. The 1-1, one -one, off speed, missed under the hands. I think the meeting was get back to the changeup. It was working first time through until you started throwing a bunch of fastballs. So a 1-2 count now on Franco. Shortstop Urias shades Franco slightly up the middle. Here's the pitch. Off speed. Bouncing ball right side. Glove by Ripken. Late covering the ball. Whistles right past Kramer. In to score is Lucas. Sullivan comes in. Bruhan with nobody covering third. Rounds the bag and holds. And the Bulls score twice. Some miscommunication by Ripken and Kramer. And the tying runs are on with one out in the third inning. The speed, this is what speed does. Franco puts it in play with two strikes. That's the first lesson. Takes the changeup away, puts it in play, and then he's busting it down the line. Ripken had to cover a lot of ground. It was a perfect flip, but Kramer never saw it. It found. First pitch on Ripken, hits a ground ball, left the bag, fielded by Franco, runs into the bag, a one-legged throw, doubles up Ripken. Eliminated the need for a toss. Good way. It wasn't laziness at all, but it was, again, conserving the, the flip, knowing the timing that you had, getting there and getting it on the way, no problem. Harvey, or I mean Hunter Harvey, for the Norfolk Tides. Broken bat roller through the middle, and that is going to be stopped on a running back in by Canelo, but no throw on Franco. Ranging up the middle. Franco, the bowler is a kid. Slider hit behind the mound, up the middle, tough way, scooped to the back by Franco, throws on to first. So that could deny the Bulls the opportunity of a big inning just on that sliding catch. Beautifully done by Mejia Spring. Kind of basket catch as he was sliding on his backside forward toward the infield. No juggle at all. Had that secure. Wander Franco in the box. Looks an off-speed pitch down low. Big league time 
for Han Holden with the New York Mets in 2018. Three games. Originally in the Brewers organization, then to the Mets, and now Franco sends this one to the left center field. And this will be a gapper. Land just short of the track, scooped up by Jarrett. And it's a double to left center by Wander Franco. Third hit of the night, his first that leaves the infield. And maybe that will get something started in this Bulls game. How big is that play by Mejia's Green look now? Because he's saying... Of course. Ground ball poked up the middle, left of the bag. Feel it by Franco. He'll play the long way. Retiring Cumber Lemaire and inning the Tide's ninth inning. Infield center. And these are the moments top prospects live for. Abad's first delivery. Off speed. Outside corner. Strike one. Franco, three hits and four at-bats, a couple of infield singles, and then a double that he smacked deep to left center field. Loaded two outs. Here's the pitch downstairs. Right-hander loosening in the Durham bullpen. Looks like Yaxel Rios. A gapper by Franco could tie things up with Matheson at first. He's taking as long of a lead as he can, unfettered from the bag with Ripken playing behind him. Abad home on 1 1. Foul tip into the midst of Cumberland. Strike two. And everything against Wander Franco has been away here. A couple of fastballs and a slider. Look down by Franco, taps himself on the crown of his helmet a couple of times, batting right-handed as the winning run with two outs in the ninth. Base is loaded. Bulls trail Norfolk 6-3. And Abad the lefty, glove below the belt, lifts the leg, pitches home, and a foul tip just did rattle out of the mitt of Cumberland. Got a piece of it, just enough. Live to see another pitch. New baseball of odds way. Abad, 384 career big league games. Left hander home on one two. Outside. That was a tenuous take by Franco. He was lunging toward that pitch and convinced himself to keep the hands off it. Two and two. Bulls trail 6-3, ninth inning. Bases loaded, two outs. 2-2 two -two to Franco. Hanging curve. Belted into left field on the ground. A base hit. Lucas in. Pavo being waved. The throw toward the plate is cut. Franco smacks himself on the chest. Screams at his teammate in the dugout. The Bulls within a run with two outs in the ninth. Fourth hit of the game for Walter Franco. This ball was hammered through the left side. It was a great at bat by Wander Franco as he saw a number of pitches and finally got a mistake that he could handle. He shortens up with two strikes and then hammers this breaking ball that stayed up in the zone. And you said it, Patrick. As two runs come home to score, Lucas.